Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multi-step problems that involve multiplication and division. This is standard 3.4K in the great state of Texas and we're using number 19 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. Let's look at our answers together. So it looks like we have a garden, and I'm just going to draw a big garden over here. It's always good to draw a picture if you can. And we've got two different types of vegetables. So we have five rows of 16 carrot plants in each row. So this is going to be a multiplication problem because we've got five rows of 16 carrots each. And then they just give us the spinach plants, 72. So how many vegetable plants are there in the garden? This is not meant to be a trick because vegetable includes both the carrots and the spinach because it says up here there are two different vegetable plants. Every once in a while they'll give you a problem where you need to exclude one of the numbers because it's not a vegetable because it's a fruit tree or something like that, but this isn't that trick. We just uh, need to add these two totals and the problem is, is we have one total right now, 72. This other one, the carrots, that is not a total. So let's just pretend that it's about half and half. I have no idea if it is or not. So I'm just going to put my 72 spinach down here. That's an easy one. I'm going to put at 72 spinach. So whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to add 72 to the end of that. First, I got to figure out how many carrots we have. So we got five rows. So I'm just going to put row, 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 row. Row. Now, I'm not going to draw 16 little lines on each one. That's going to be kind of a pain in the neck. So I'm just going to write the number 16 on each. And these are my carrots. So I'm just going to put C, 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 C. So I've got options here. If I want, I can just make a huge addition problem. I can do 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 72. I would get an answer. Or I can multiply because... Repeated addition is another way for you to do multiplication. If you're not really comfortable with the multiplication standard, you can use just repeated addition because that's another way to look at it. That means five sets of 16. But let's, let's look at this 16 times 5. Let's use our multiplication. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. So this first way is going to be what we call partial products. And by partial products, that means we don't regroup or anything. We just go ahead and put each product down, and then we add them at the bottom. So we start with 5, and we start with 6. So we're going to always start right here. So 5 times 6 is 30. And we're just going to put those both right here. And then next, we're going to multiply these 5 times this 1. But this 1 really isn't a 1. It's a 10, because it's a 1 in the 10's place. So I'm going to go ahead and put a, a 0 in that ones place in that second row to make sure that I start my answer here in the tens place because this is really a 10. So 5 times 1 is 5, so that's going to be 50. So it looks like my answer is going to be 80. Now, how do we do that with what they call the standard? So this is partial products. And the standard algorithm is just what uh, the normal way, the quick way. But as you can see, you can use partial products. You can use repeated addition. And so I'll just do 16 times 5. You multiply 5 times 6 again, but you only put one digit down. You're going to carry that 3 over here above the tens place. The problem is you've got to multiply and then add. So we're going to multiply this now. 5 times 1 is 5. Then we've got to add this 3 that we brought over from the 30. So 5 plus 3 is 8. And there we go. We've got 80. So 80 is not an answer over here, but it shouldn't be because we haven't even added in. Our 72. So let's add in our 72 spinach, and that's just a simple addition. We're going to get 152. So that's going to be our answer. Now, how do we get some of these other answers? Well, if I don't know to multiply, if I just do 72 plus 16, if I just take my two numbers and add for whatever reason, well, that's going to give me 88. So that's this one. And then if I decide, ooh, I need to add this 5, that's going to be 93. So that's this one. And 122 is just 16 times 5 without any regrouping. 